small and meager. Down there in your hive, so pathetic and tiny, ready to be crushed like little baby ants. Ooh. It's wrong world. You know what's happening. I think you should die. I think you all know what's going on by now. It's the same shit every day. <laughs> now, yesterday I dedicated an enormous amount of time to breeding an enormous spider. One single enormous unstoppable spider. A spider so powerful it takes 17% the damage that a regular person takes. An 83% damage reduction and I presume hits quite hard too. <gasps> 123! I don't even understand the maths behind it. That's insane. 338% armor penetration. <sighs> I don't know what's going on but I feel like yesterday was well spent. Now, I think we've seen the extremes of the genetic engineering. We've seen the highs and we've seen the lows. Why has that happened? When I did the thumbnail for yesterday, I do the thumbnails, right? This will blow your mind. I come into game and I press the print screen button and then I cut out the background. But when I did that, she had gray skin, but now she doesn't. I wonder why. Pale yellow skin, gray goose skin. Well, that's something we can figure out, I'm sure. We've seen the highs and the lows of genetic engineering very literally. Today, I would like to specialize a little bit. We've got all of these colonists who came to us with a with the, with the name that they still have, which is something I very rarely do. The skills that they more or less still have, even though they all have a particular job in the colony. And I think it's about time we put this genetic engineering to good use. And if you're thinking, oh God, another episode about genetic engineering, that's the whole point of the series. Thanks for being here. It's a new toy in Rimworld. I don't get these very often. Let me have my fun. So we're going to take Creambug 2.1. And what I want to do is, is define every single character, not only with their own unique skill set, but I also want to give them a different appearance. So for example, our characters who are very skilled at plants, which in this case, it would be uh, it would be Gloom. We will change their Xenotype. So it's Creambug, but kind of a variant of Creambug that focuses on the plant skill rather than just being generically good. We also have access now to these things here, the gene processors, the gene macro processors. Those, oh my God, they're enormous. I presume the processors are better than macro processors. They're also tiny. These are really great because they'll allow us to add a whole new level of complexity to our... Are they expensive? They are expensive, but we can afford it. They're going to let us add a whole new level of complexity to our people. We can really go butt wild, and I want to make all of these people insect types almost. So, for example, Gloom, our plants expert, should probably be a bit more like a bee and a little less like a horrifying thing. <laughs> I'm not really sure what type of insects they are right now, to be honest. I'm sure we can optimize this whole room, right? Because these things probably give... How much complexity each? I guess we'll never know. Does it say? Oh, plus four per unit. Whoa. We're going to say cream bug 2-1, and this is going to be our plant variant. I don't want anything with bee in it. I, th I think any any sort of bee addition. We've got bee wings rather than moth wings. I think that works perfectly fine. Does a bee need bulletproof skin? Oh, they don't need unconstrained, so I'm not going to give everybody massive armor. So that's a bit pointless. Uh, reduce pain. Honestly, I'm not so sold on that one. So we swap out the moth wings, the insect eyes, and the uh, bulletproof skin or whatever it was. And instead, I'm swapping out for bee wings, strong plants, and I think fast runner would be really, really nice. We could take a little bit of complexity away as well here. Cream bug plants. Perfect. I'm going to save the template in case we get some more people good with plants. And eventually, I'm hoping we can get things like perfect plants, which is that random... Oh, God. Which is that random gene that can appear that gives them, like, plus 20 plant skill. That would be amazing. Then I think Batista is, is due for an upgrade. He's the character basically single-handedly getting us every single resource we could ever need. I want to get good mining yield, which we know is a thing from alpha genes. One of the larger frames will also allow him to dig faster, too. Like, the Jotun frame is, what, like, 200% deep drilling or something crazy like that. Hello, look at this. We can insert genomes into this and breed... Whoa, can I do like a Royal Kwama? Will that work? A Royal Kwama warrior? No suggestion material. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's try Royal Kwama, see what happens. Oh, this is cool. Well, I didn't think this is how this would work. But let's just try Kwama. Jesse material is being carried to the incubator. Oh no, does it not work? Oh, this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. That, that's definitely loaded. I watched them do it. Hang on. We'll try it once more. Begin inserting genes. Whoops. Um, let's go drone genome. And then say, begin inserting genes. Bugsy will come and put the genes in the incubator. Uh, Bugsy will come and put the genes in the incubator. Who care if you're the bloody queen? Help me out here. And then, activate. Okay, a vat grow mega scarab will be produced in... Okay, so maybe, maybe the Kwama. Maybe the Kwama doesn't work with everything because it's obviously a, a modded insect type. Oh! An egg! Where is that damn egg? Show me that egg. Stand up. Where have you put it? 
It's there. It's safe. We're not going to let this happen again. I'm going to forbid it for what little it'll make any difference. But hold on, though. I almost forgot. Yesterday, we finally got it, didn't we? After all these years at long last, recombine, load the template, Cream Queen 2.1, and then in here somewhere is our parasitic stinger implanter. How could I be so naive? It's been there all along. We don't need a Viparus anymore. Get rid of it. Oh, hang on, we could just... If we just capture prisoners now, we can loot box them, and the ones we can't loot box, we can just inject eggs into. Mighty. Cream Queen 3. This is a whole new generation of bullshit. <laughs> Which I think has been true of just about every genome I've designed. This will not be the first implantation I order today, and it certainly will not be the last. There you go, my friend. Go lie down. This is a whole new era. No more laying eggs and putting them in incubators. Well, we will put them in incubators. Living, breathing, human incubators. Yes. Ooh. Uh. Oh, no, not again. Every fucking time. I didn't even change her size on this one. So it's all well and good me saying, oh, White's got a thousand million DPS or whatever. We need to actually see a visual representation. It's hard to know what the numbers mean. I would go out there and punch a bear or a mega sloth, but for some reason, none are turning up. So we're going to punch a muffalo. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. I mean... <laughs> gonna pause it and make a big deal about how it'll be an epic showdown but not only did you you punched its leg off and it died of toxic whoa it got 7.5% toxic build up in a single hit what the fuck oh this is nuts <laughs> oh my god wow okay well we never have to worry about hunting again because we have uh, automatic hunting machine this is, oh, this is insane. Level 17 melee, oh, that will help. Hey, you know what? Maybe I do have something for you to fight. Let's go stand you in the pollution a minute and power you up even more, because that's what you need. Oh, man, I love these tunnels throughout the base. That was such a cool idea. Maximum, there we are. You need a little more damage. you got zero manipulation. you got to bear in mind the, uh, the maroon arms, though, are exceptionally powerful. Lower that limb's efficiency right down, so the manipulation is now zero, even with the boosted consciousness. i got something for you to fight right here. Um, punch. Hello. I did wait the other one up too. We kind of expected that. But I mean, we can't tame the queen, sadly. If I just say search and destroy, do you think our enormous bug can take on all these other bugs? I think it's very possible. 98%! Oh my god! No way! This is insane! They're gonna die to... Because remember, you die from a thousand cuts, right? If too many bruises build up, your colonists will just instantly die. Oh, I, I, I don't think I've ever built a character this strong before, ever. We've built some ridiculous, silly characters. But this is just insane. Normally, a, a whole group of them will take your people out. This is, like, not even a problem. Oh, shit, it woke up all of those. Oh, fuck. Bogo, what happened, fella? Okay, I, hang on, let me put everyone else safely. I didn't realize it would wake up the ships on the other side of the map. That's my fault. I'll be honest, though, I don't think we've really got that much to worry about. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this. 133, 137, 142. Bear in mind the hits will build up to the point that eventually White will be overwhelmed. That's bizarre. That's insane. But you have rapid healing, right? I did give you rapid healing. Super fast wound healing. You're at 69% now. Let's see how rapid fast that really is. Because, don't forget, all of our bugs have the super fast wound healing as well. And uh, as well as the... Uh, the, the blood clotting, whatever that one's called, the coagulation. The uh, Buggo's not going to bleed out. It's just a whole bunch of bruises. Oh, if they're coming over one at a time, they're going to get absolutely peppered. I feel like sometimes white swings and misses. Is that maybe a manipulation problem? So maybe there'll be a higher DPS if I sort one of the arms out for one of the green limbs. He's still doing fine, to be honest. Interesting, interesting experiments. I like this. This is good. We still need some optimization. What are you wearing for armor? You're not. You're butt naked. Actually butt naked. Now imagine we strap white in cataphract gear. I don't, I don't think you'll take out this entire raid solo. I think, that's, I think that's too much. I think she's just slowly being weakened down to the point that she's not going to do any good combat damage. This is insane. The game lags when I hover over how much damage she's got. 77 torso bruises. Oh my god, you're actually going to stop them, aren't you? What the fuck was even that? Hello? Oh, they tried to attack the beehives. I drafted everyone else up because I thought that 
White would eventually be downed. Oh my god, she was. 516 conditions. <laughs> the game quite literally can't show them all. It's just too many. Oh, I should stop that in case I crash it. Wow. I love that. I love game breaking characters like this, but game breaking in the weirdest ways. I'm going to break the UI because they've taken so many wounds. That's so good. Oh my god, Bogo stood back up. Bogo, you moron. Oh, Bogo, you should have stayed down. Oh god, we can't we can't leap through the door. Okay, just stay there. Just stay down. We'll send the squad up. Oh, Bogo, 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 Bogo. What did I say about staying down? Hang on, if we wing power jump over to there, the door might shut behind you. Come on. Yes, nice. Okay, Bogo, piss off. Get yourself patched up. There's a lot of bugs. Look at the minimap. There's still so many. Oh, and a lot of them are those little larvae too, so we do need to deal with those before they turn into... Oh, you're back up again, huh? Uh, you know what? Honestly, you don't need to flee. You can stand your ground. I think if anybody's capable of standing the ground, it's probably you. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're absolutely slicing through them now. Holy shit. It's like they're nothing. Oh, no. The Kwama. Why are the Kwama threatened? Calm. Okay. Ooh, I thought one of our Hulk spiders were going to go in there and clap their cheeks. Now, they just need a bit of training, and they will be honestly almost as good as white. I mean, we've seen them fight before, and they were nuts. That was a lot of bugs. That was a lot of bugs. That's one of the biggest insect raids I've ever seen, and we almost soloed it with a single colonist. I think that's a fairly good sign, right? Well, that's it, right over. Hey, look at that. I mean, that's, that's just amazing work. Well, I think it's fairly safe to say for a trial run, that was an absolute success. And the best part is, we can just get more people and do exactly the same thing to them too. I will admit, though, I do prefer the idea of having a single colony guardian than, like, lots. What we can do now, though, is make even more advanced limbs for them. Oh, shit, I wouldn't even know where to begin. There's so many. Extra dexterous appendage. Try saying that five times. By strengthening the muscles in the appendage and increasing the fine nervous control, the entire performance of the appendage is increased. Is that an implant? And we can install that anyway. Replaces plants, none. So what we can, like, put that in the limbs to make them better still. We have barely started on the limb research. So you know what? Actually, forget it. Don't queue any up yet. Let's get the whole list and see what we've got. Obviously, it's all going into white, but any psychic stuff Bugsy can get. A lot of people in the comments did point out that Bugsy is an amazing psychaster, right? We, we know that for a fact. She's, she's nuts. Her uh, genetics are nuts when it comes to a psychic character. Creates a constant psychic suit that makes nearby colonists happy. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize that was an effect of that. So just Bugsy being in the area makes all of the drones happier. That's nuts. Anyway, she's insane. But a lot of people have pointed out that just having her in the Alpha Animals Herald of the Black Hive Tree isn't really doing much for her. I think we could try some of these other Alpha Animals ones. I'm happy with that because she is an Alpha Animal. Very literally. Oh, the Kwama went mad and decided to attack the Hulk. Oh. Well, that's probably the end of this karma nest then, I'm afraid. Oh, you fool. You bought that on yourself. I, I can't be angry. Hulk was just defending the barn. The karma really fucked with the wrong bug. Bugsy saw them and fired off a volley too. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't tend. Shit, I don't think we've, we've got enough medicine to tend all 500 wounds. Ah, oh, shit. Wow, I've never seen anything like that before in RimWorld. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, you know what? Fine. Carry on. You never know. We might get a tough raid turn up, so I need you to have... You need you to be back at fighting form as soon as possible. Oh, hang on. There is another way to get damage reduction besides damage reduction. <laughs> Just notice the mountain of bandages that is white. That's incredible. I see why they call you that. We could just give white melee dodge chance instead. It's not damage. Well, I mean, it, it's technically damage reduction, right? Spacer beekeeping. I love space bees. Oh, there's a lab out there. Oh my god, there's an ancient vault. No, I can't give the bug superpowers. We've done the superpowers too much. We're not going to. This is all about insectoid bioengineering. Name a bug with superpowers. Exactly, you can't. I mean, maybe Mothra, but Mothra, Mothra was like a nuclear spell. I don't think they had superpowers. 1.1 days. Let's head out there. I'm going to send my guy, Bautista. Bautista and the Hulk. 67 tiles a day? Bloody hell, you are speed. I don't think we need anything else other than that, to be honest. Oh, uh, food. Yeah, no, people do need food. I remember now. So for the loot boxes, we're looking for some really weird stuff then. We're looking for any sort of dodge chance, any other melee stuff. Someone in Discord told me that there is a... There's a gene that just straight up adds to um, damage reduction. It's just literally called like damage reduction plus 10%. Vampires, do you have anything that will help with... I mean, Scarless would be fun. An old wound or chronic illness is healed. 
to give that to white would be another great thing. And of course, perfect immunity would be amazing. Ah, oh, going metabolism would also be amazing. Get, stop getting distracted, for God's sake. Right, so we need to make, um, what is that? Protein slag and nanomechanites. I'm not laughing at that. Um, I think that is the uh, refining bay. Refi refining station. What are they called? Biofuel refinery. Refining station. I have played this game before once or twice, I promise. Let's throw down a couple of those, because I don't think we've got any currently. And then, uh, the other thing we get from taking apart mechanoids, if I'm not mistaken. But last time I tried doing that, it didn't bloody work. This is a separate build where you just turn their bodies into, um, nano... Ah! <gasps> nano mechanoids! There you go. And that's just gonna use corpses. Nano machines, son. Perfect. And then for you, I want to make, a uh, delicious slag. That needs medicine, really. We've already got shitloads of medicine, so that's really not a problem. We're gonna do that until we got, um... Shit, maybe like 500 because I think I'm probably gonna go quite butt wild on this to be honest with you Medicine we can grow the toxic root that we're growing it needs to be grown in toxic soil But counts as industrial medicine whether it will work or not. We'll wait and see. Oh, what a prime location for a horrifying biotech lab a lovely Peach from property. Oh Helixian. Hello. Really? You sent a single bug I mean, now that we've got the stinger implant I'm not looking for anything in specific just things that will allow us to do the dodging Lopped rabbit's ears. Not really what I'm after. Pollution stimulus we've already got. Pheromones and magenta eyes. And then one of the... What's that? Endo... Uh, Xenogenifier. And that's it. What a... Oh, hang on. Uh, fungal skin. What a waste. You can get that just from going to your local pool. You don't need to come all the way to a bio lab for that one. Oh, my mistake. There was also tox vulnerable, underdeveloped teeth, and moth antennae. Average British person. I can neither claim credit nor be responsible for the legal ramifications of what I'm about to say. One and only eponymous Ice Wolf said in the comments, why not breed the loot boxes together to get more loot box for the prison? And now that I think about it, yeah. Why not breed them together? We got man loot box. We got lady loot box. You've got perfect melee. Oh, we might not have man loot box for long. Uh, minus 12. Oh, it's not worth it when you're already... Yeah, when you're already 18.83 melee with a lot of people to fight, it's not really a big deal. Here's what we're going to do then. We're going to do a little loot box uh, duplication. I've never done this before. This is base biotech, apparently. Extract oven for IVF. Sure. Uh, who more qualified than the enormous bug woman? Oh, we're not allowed to do the operation. Why is that? Uh, It just disappears. Oh, does it not work? Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think the plan will work, though I do love the idea. Would it be too slow? Is there a minimum age to be ripping jeans from? I'm not sure. Can I not just, like... Can I not just, like, make it happen? Is there no way? The vampires can't die! Whoa! Hold on. We might not need to worry about it. Implants into pecs. What a lucky, lucky boy! <laughs> I don't think I've had... A single screen that's ever summed up a series more than everything on screen right now. Now it's time. Get stung. That's it. I don't want to ask how it works. I don't need to know the mechanics. Parasitic implantation minor. Wow, there it is. So if the creature dies when it's sufficiently advanced more than 90%, the human larvae inside the parasitic eggs will devour the victim from the inside and hatch from its corpse. Gestation time is 15 days. The real question is then, will it kill them? Because chances are, when they burst out, it will just apply death to them, right? The question is, will the vampires also survive that? Because if they will, Keegan and Pex here are in for a whole world of horrifying torture and pain. I'll have their bodies moved up to the incubation bay, and then they can lie there forever. Because the other big benefit to this too, and the other big, big benefit to using vampires specifically, is that they will occasionally nab genes from the person they're gestating inside of. Will they be able to nab the Arco genes? I'd say probably not. I don't think that's likely, but the vampires tend to have a lot of amazing stuff. I don't know what happens if they potentially get hemogenic or something like that. Or like, say, hemogen drain? Weird. Weird. There's a lot of experiments to be doing here, though. What are you doing up there, Hangman? Did I not remove your spine? Why are you in here? This is not the right room for my horrible loot box mutants. I haven't been checking you, because I completely forgot you even existed. What have you got? Weak melee damage, 
Nothing good, but someone did leave a comment on the last episode. That person said, why not, along with an incredibly good melee character, why not have an incredibly good shooting character as well? Honestly, as long as we've got a gene that's insectoid appropriate, uh, let's just type in proficiency. Um, is it proficiency? Is that the right word? We definitely have our oh, aptitude. That's it. Aptitude for charge chance is the only one we've got right now. If we can find aptitude for a tox weapon, I'm more than happy to try and make a shooting guardian. One to keep white covered. White's getting in there in the middle of things, ripping them apart. And then the other person can be picking them off from a distance. Resilient tissue framework. That unlocks so many limbs. Oh my God. Unlocks research expanded limb battle utility. Yes. I don't know how water-filled growth is any use, but yes, I agree. How many horrifying mutation mods would you like in one mod pack? Yes, is the answer. We will take all of them. <laughs> Every single one. I feel like we've done a pretty good job of that. What gift. I know it's a mechanoid defoliator ship. But mechanoid bodies are exactly what we need to get these organs. And if you think that 20 scythers is enough to take on white, you are sorely mistaken. Already back up to 65%. Oh, God. Well, it's starting to work again. <laughs> Emphasis on starting. It's not really going perfectly, is it? Ooh, who are they attacking? Oh, bugger, why do you keep walking into the most dangerous places, you fanny? Stupid idiot, man. Go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh! Uh! Shut the door. Fuck! Oh, my God. Why is he so stupid? Oh, save this idiot, man. <laughs> save him from himself at this point. Stay there. All right, Lynx has got it handled, Bugsy. Don't worry. Have more faith in your little bug friends. Except for Buggo. Have no faith in Buggo. Thought you had to put out the fire around a goddamn defoliator ship, moron. Growth moment for Sass. Oh my god, it looks like you're not the only person having a growth moment. Hello there. Nothing useful. Wait, is that what you had before? Were you that massive last time and I just didn't notice? Amazing. Pebble blood. I am constantly surprised by what other shit appears. So Sass is animal hater, psychically deaf and underground to come from, uh, come from just the gene line, right? Optimist is good, but your skills are shitty. Melee four, I mean, maybe you could be another colony guardian. It might be the only thing you're good for, little Sass. How are you doing, pegs? 5.3%. Obviously, the parasitic infection makes them hungrier so that you have to spend more food. That's kind of the trade-off, but with vampires, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not going to inject Keegan, though we could do it early if it does work and get another person earlier. I'm not going to do that. I think it's also on cooldown for bloody ages, right? Uh, oh, every few days. That's fine. Maybe we get more vampires. Keep it going as a cycle. For further research into the animal kingdom, new ways to hide weapons inside of our limbs were discovered. That's always good. Oh, look, there's even more. Whoa, Psychic Synapse Network sounds fun. God, there's so many. I almost don't want to start any of them until we've got all the bloody research so I know what we're doing. Jesus Christ. Whoa, that really could take a while, eh? Hey, white's, white's good, white's done. You ready to go? You need some clothes, though, I presume. How are we looking on that front? Nothing. Totally buck naked, except for our flak vest. Really got much in the way of anything like that. We're gonna have to make some fresh armor for you. I guess just marine armor for now. No pressure, Bugsy, but I need this to be good. I took that very literally. I mean, we've got actually just good armor. All right, fine, I suppose. And I want to get your your look that you had on the thumbnail again. What was that? You had like, you cut your hair off for a start, which I'm, I'm gonna do. And then you had silver skin, but I just don't understand what, how that happened. It's a shame because it was such a cool look. It was like completely different to everyone else we've got going on right now. <laughs> There's just those little, those little, they look like really long, horrible fingers, don't they? Cannot make marine helmet. Missing one advanced component, 40 plasteel. Five advanced components and 1,000 plasteel. That's very bizarre. <laughs> um, that's very bizarre indeed. Just make the damn helmet. Stop complaining and make the helmet, okay? We've got some mechanoids to smash. I don't think we need all the extra help, but we might as well. Thank you. That's what I damn thought. Uh, White, get back over here. I said whenever we get a distinctive gene line for them, whenever they get a proper part in the colony and they're not just another worker, I will give them an, a, a proper colony name. Fortunately for you, giant killer bug, that name is Scooter McPooterson. <laughs> are, our gene, are our gene banks full? What the hell? Oh, no, those need to be refrigerated. What the fuck are you doing? No, 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 no fresh. No fresh on these shelves. How many times have I got to tell you? There we go. Thank you, Bugsy. I don't think that'll fit, but we'll give it a go. Uh, oh, I mean, that looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks a little bit better than the off-center eyes, at least. Wow. Oh, you fools. Oh, you should have sent more Scyther. Oh, God. Oh, shit. What, what's she doing? Oh, Scooter. Oh, Scooter Muckpooter. 
Oh, I mean, it's just insta-kill on every single Scyther. Wow, that's nuts. And raid dealt with. Brilliant. There's 4% damage. This is silly. I've got to see it against, like, centipedes or something. We need to fight something something big and proper. Oh, no. I knew exactly what that was before I'd even seen it. Scooter McBooterson can gain an expertise in melee. Piercing gives 5% armor penetration or dueling. Melee cooldown fact up. Wait, melee cooldown down by 2.5% per level. Bear in mind that's per level of dueling. No, this is this is gonna be game breaking. It's already pretty fucking game breaking. So all we gotta do is get a few more levels on that. Hang on, what DPS are you now? Let's let's, let's see what we're starting with. 142.41. Let me just go ahead and screenshot that. I just live for the mad science. It's the only reason I get out of bed in the mornings anymore. Kill that turkey, and then kill that thing, and then kill that cougar, kill the squirrel. I've just got to get you to level up that skill a couple of times, basically. Oh, careful, that's a goose. I thought that might have finally been a worthy fight. Still organs! Hey, I like extra organs. And then we've got butcher's nails. Butcher's nails are the, um, uh, they're the, they're the, uh, big fellas, aren't they? From the Warhammer? The big fellas? Shit, what the hell are they called? You know, the large guys. The hell? My god. <laughs> Strongest hair there's ever lived. Ooh. Okay, this one might be a better fight. Mega Sloth? It actually took a whole punch. It took a whole punch. Oh, that's because she punched it in the tail. Scooter, you moron. I cannot wait to see the 40k players screaming in the comments. I I don't know what happens in 40k. I don't know anything about 40k. I don't know anything about Warhammer. There's a, the, the big dudes. The, everybody knows what the big dudes are. There's like Rabute Gilliman. He's a fella, right? And there's uh, Rogel Dawn. That's one. Horus. Horus Heresy was his name. Ark. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, that's every animal on the map killed. Uh, did you level up from that? Or was that a total waste of time? Almost. Oh, through dueling. There we go. Um, right, so minus 10 on the melee cooldown factor. Right, this is good. Science. I love science. And then uh, DPS, 142.4. Is that not identical to what it was before? What the fuck does melee cooldown do then? That's how long before you can... Oh, I suppose melee DPS probably wouldn't take that into account. Because melee cooldown is how long it takes between acquiring targets, right? No. No, it's not. Cooldown is just the cooldown between attacks, but it hasn't changed. DPS is melee damage times melee hit chance over cooldown in seconds. 1.3. But it was 1.3 before. Well, it must have been. Melee cooldown factor minus 10%. Oh, minus 10% and it's 1.3 won't make a fucking difference. It's probably rounded up anyway. Okay, so we've taken off 0.13. That's really helpful. You have to go club more animals when they spawn in. I didn't punch the boom lips, but I will. She what? She has suffered a total mental breakdown because she has become what she hates? What the hell do you mean she's become what she hates? Since when the fuck is Bugsy a body purist? <laughs> what? Since when was Bugsy a body purist? No, that's not right. That's... That's not right at all. She's a body purist and now she's broken down because she's finally realized, oh shit, I'm a giant bug. We were bugs all along. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Over and rise by something. I still think to do with the idea of legend. No one else has that though. Psychically deaf. I'm very confused. Why would she be a body purist? I didn't make her a body purist. Uh, what happens if we take the armless genome and then we give it to someone with arms? Do their arms drop off? Or perhaps more... Double impossible social. Perhaps more importantly, we could just give them their arms back? Maybe it'll work fine. Maybe I want impossible social, though, for the... Bug fighters. Actually, yes, I do. Uh, Holden, you might be getting ripped, my friend. Hermine, what have you got before I commit to the possible melee? Oh, no, I, I need that for my melee warrior. That might be a slight problem. Yeah. Hold on. Give me your social. I'll take both of them, actually. Yeah, thank you. Well, that's strange. I don't seem to remember giving Hangman a mech link. I presume that's a random gene that's given you that. What a kind gift. Natural mech link. There you go. Will that disappear? Oh, whoa. I presume... Not, because it's added the... It's actually added it to his brain. Whoa. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So we've got a long way to go on the parasite itself. 
Ooh, perfect plants would be nice for our bees. But you know what? I'm all right with that. Honestly, I think the perfect, giving them the perfect skill is kind of a trap. Because you can just get that anyway, right? A little bit of passion would be fine. You know what I do want to do? I want to take Scooter and I want to throw Scooter in for a personality brainwash. I know this is very overpowered, but please humor me. Let me have this, for God's sake. What if we give you a double passion in melee, rather than critical, so you'll learn it slower, but you'll retain it longer? Can we just, like, totally reprogram you from the ground up? Oh, I like this a lot. This is broken. <laughs> it's very, very overpowered. But let me have this, just this one time. What is the trade-off? That's the question. What is going to happen to Scooter when we do this? I presume it will be another catatonic breakdown. It takes a little while. And then you get powers going out? Oh my god, we haven't got enough power. Whoa! Of all the things I expected to happen, that certainly wasn't it. Did I actually plug this one into the grid? Uh, apparently so. Wow! Holy crap, our power draw must be nuts. Um, well, look, let's swing another one round over on this side then. Maybe pop it like, pop it like there. Make sure we got good coverage. Gotta make sure everything's nice and polluted. In fact, I made a blueprint of that, didn't I? Brilliant. Make one of my greatest super soldiers even greater still. It's amazing. And, and look, it's a tube television. What are tubes if not great big lamps? And you know what loves lamps? That's right. <laughs> this thing. Oh, it's so horrible. I didn't think I'd be able to make it worse, but the armor's really added a, a whole new dimension. It's just another, it's just another catatonic breakdown. So, I decided to give Scooter, Brawler, obviously you give him Brawler, higher hit chance, that seems to be something they were missing. Uh, Nimble, so they've got a much higher dodge chance, which like I said, kind of adds into effectively damage reduction anyway. And then finally, Martial Artist, I don't know what that does. Um, oh right, this is the disarming one. Oh, I mean, that's kind of useful. Not massively useful, but that's all right. I think that's fine. <gasps> Is that James Cameron's avatar? Jack Suli, you are the avatar to Way of Water in a cinema near you. What? What? I don't understand. What? Why are you dead? Why are you dead? Bio starvation 144 hours. What do you want me to do with was fucking solar flare? Why did you die? You just, you just starved. I don't know if I'm gonna probably do it to a lack of... And you, you just died? Like, what? Sass died. Got three seconds ago. Why? What? Because of the solar flare? No! It just says Sass died. Bruh, I didn't even get a pop-up saying Sass died. The only reason I fucking noticed why is because of the giant red eggs through them. That's true. But because it popped up saying Colin is left unburied. What? Bruh. What's happening? Cancel dissecting. What? This was clearly seconds ago. There was no message. There was nothing. Sastra. Oh, fuck this. G destroy the child. Oxy, destroy the child. Stupid game. You know what this wouldn't happen with? You know what this wouldn't happen with, huh? This wouldn't happen with a goddamn stinger implant. Bazinga. For every child I've put in the vat, we've now got a child being parasitically grown. Which isn't a lot, but it is weird that it's happened twice. <laughs> we did technically put two children in that one vat. Maybe this one will do a little better. I just don't, I just, there's no, there's no God. There is no luck with these friggin' eggs. One disappeared, one got turned into jelly, one got put in a vat, and then fed to another child that then subsequently died of starvation, ironically. Ridiculous time. What even happened today? What happened in today's episode, huh? The big lady, the one that's not Bugsy, punched a bunch of Scyther. Great. Good episode. <laughs> Great work. You really nailed it. I didn't even know what happened. I looked away and then suddenly, oh, there's a whole episode. It's just all nonsense. It was a nonsense day. Hey, thanks to Lawbringer, Cuddles, Issy Claire, Grand K, Adoops, Tiny Magnus, Cow 345. Nuanced Far, Holy Reapers, Liara Jennings, Snow Dog TW, Irish Commissar, Wazi, Selfish Ghost, Zulu, Weirdfish Gaming, Quish, Nephine, Shinjian, Kish, Fantasus, Sir Royland, Emily, Mithrin, Vimcola, Critical John, and Sleepy257 for their support over at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. I am very Sleepy257 right now, so maybe this is a good sign that we should move on. Maybe we should move on. Thank you to Chemiclosion, Britno, Yarrow, Ben Core, Kestrian, Sierra Matthews, MCG, MCG, Merlin Kane, Lol the Cool, Mikey Rank, 
Liam Smith, Christopher AJ Sutenback, Gallo, Tasnath, Manny, Night B, Morbut, GV11, Donald, Dorian, Ben Carlin, It is Queen 56, Nidus, N A to the R, Solus NZ, and Ravioli Lad with a pocket full of spaghetti. Thank you for being here. Great day. Real great day. What the hell even happened?